Hello everyone, so I've just got back from a trip up to the Peak District. We were staying just outside of Bakewell and if you aren't aware, that is the hometown of Thornbridge Brewery. So I basically took the opportunity to go along and do their brewery tour while we were up there and had a really good time. So as I've, got, I've got a little bit of footage on this video for you to watch of the tour. I didn't get a huge amount on video, to be honest, but um, I'll intersperse that with some information about the brewery and so on. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We didn't get access to that much um, in terms of getting into the brewery and stuff, but uh, it's a quite a large, very busy brewery. So obviously, you know, there are health and safety issues around uh, showing tour groups around and stuff like that. But great tour guide, very knowledgeable. Um, it was quite a lot of talking from him on the tour, but uh, he knew what he was on about. He knew all the history of the brewery and he was able to answer all of our questions that we had. And he was also quite generous with the beers. So you get free, um, you get free complimentary half pints as part of the tour, which you kind of drink at the end when you go back to the little bar at the shop but he um, was dishing out a few beers on the way around as well. So definitely got my money's worth. It was only 10 quid. Uh, the tour lasts about an hour and a half. And um, yeah, I think just in terms of the beer that I got to drink, I got my money's worth there and I was uh, found it very interesting, entertaining on the way around as well. So if you're ever in the area, I'd recommend um, going along and trying that out. Uh, it actually changed my opinion of Thornbridge a little bit as well. In the past, I've tried their beers and I think probably due to the distance travelled and the way that they've been stored, they've not been in the best condition. Jaipur, their flagship beer, was um, the worst offender for that, to be honest. I got a bottle of it from Waitrose quite a while back, and uh, it didn't taste very good, to be honest. Very green, that grassy kind of um, flavour that you get from um, hops that aren't in particularly good condition. Maybe it was a little bit... Uh, light struck as well I don't know but to be honest it tasted pretty awful and that kind of put me off of their beers for a little while but having gone to the source tried it fresh um, it's a great beer and uh, yeah really a, a classic kind of um, west coast IPA in my opinion um, very nice to drink going to enjoy this one in a second and um, all the other beers that I had were really good as well so I'd, I'd recommend it I'll stop waffling on now and get onto the footage, but uh, yeah, Formbridge Brewery, good tour, good beers, worth uh, popping in there if you're ever in the area, and obviously the Peak District is a beautiful place to visit as well, especially if you live in an area like Bedford, which scenery-wise is effectively uh, like living on top of a pancake. So uh, yeah, cheers everyone, and um, get along to Formbridge if you can. That's my complimentary glass as well, by the way, which also came as part of the tour.
the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino.